Sorry, Lady Ada, was this? Okay, this is from space. No, it just, just yeah, back up a little bit. These are uh, cafe lights. So, um, you know, these are plastic, weatherproof NeoPixels. And if you look, there's actually three NeoPixel inside each one. Uh, so they're not like super, super bright, but you know, they're, they're good for decorative lighting. Uh, and these are true WS 2811s. Um, Erin, uh, our resident mermaid has been doing projects, but the ones she had were like TM 18 somethings. And so they, they didn't work really well with Arduino code or circuit Python code. So this one, um, we are running the code on a Metro. You do have to power it with 12 volts. So what I do is on the weatherproof connector in here, I have it wired up to my little USB a 12 volt adapter, um, but it works great. I want to do one more check. I just want to make sure that they work with 3.3 uh, volt logic. If not, I'm just gonna have to tell people, hey, you need to use a level shifter. Um, but these are really cool. You can like hang them up and um, have like cool decorative lights uh, that you can put outside with NeoPixels. All right, Lady Data, what's this? Okay, I'm doing more hacking on some NeoPixel like lights. I'm programming um, a Cutie Pie RP2040 with my little NeoPixel level shifter on the back. And these are also cafe lights. What's interesting about these is you can see they have a white element. So it's red, green, blue, white, which I kind of like because you get like a pure white color. The um, thing is though, this is not uh, WS2811. These are called TM... Uh, 1814s and they have kind of like a different it's neopixel like but they have like this um, command bit at the top and then you have to invert the command bit and you have to refresh them constantly which is annoying another thing is it's inverted signal so it's um idle high and then it drops low it's like literally just inverted so to get this running i was playing with wled but to be honest it was faster for me to just take some pio code and um, I just inverted the instructions so instead of being like uh, output side zero or one, I just I swapped them. And then I wrote some like quick circuit Python code to cycle through all the colors. And this is what I got. So these work. I mean, it's tough because the WS2811s don't have a four channel output. So if you want white LEDs, you do need to use a different chip because you want 12 volts, like three LED output. It does work. Um, WLED kind of works, and I can get some Circuit Python and Arduino support going for people. Uh, so I think I'll still stock these. What's this? Okay. As I was doing all those cafe lights, I was like, you know what would be really awesome <laughs> is something that makes my life easier and level shifts NeoPixel signal from 3.3 volt to 5 volt, and or gives me an inverted output signal for the TM1814. Uh, so like I did figure out with PIO, but the problem is, is that I don't, I won't always have PIO, right? Sometimes you're going to be, um, running on ESP32 or you're going to be running on whatever, some other device. Um, and so this, um, this is a little inverter logic level thingy or bobber that will get you, um, all sorts of different I think things. I'm going to just send this video next time someone asks how you develop products. It's like, I was sitting there doing something else. I had to make a product to make this. No, I was like, I was like so yeah. frustrated because of yeah. like this inversion and like the, like the. RC this is cool because like your frustration turned into a product. Okay, yeah. buy uh, buy some pain and frustrating yeah. and some suffering here. So okay. this has like it's a coming little, soon. It has a little booster to get, take three volts and give you five volts with a signal. Level shifter is a dual level shifter for two signals and then an inverter, so you get like the data five inverted data five and then clock five. Okay. So yeah, this should solve all my stupid pixel problems. Okay, cool. Uh, that's top secret for the week.